Good morning, Katanning. It's the greatest day of the year. Let's go. Let's do this. Gotta fuel up the troops. All right, now we're ready. All right, so here's what we got today. Two condemned houses next to each other. And this is really, you know, kind of what we try to do. Because can you imagine, you know, if you live in this house, or if you live in this house, that's pretty demoralizing to have uh, two yards like this next to you. So uh, the goal today is to clean out the fronts of these. Uh, there's not much in the back, it's just a big hillside. So. Uh, we'll get these cut down, and then there's another one down the street here on the corner uh, that I'm going to do with the rider. So, so we're going to get started, see how it goes. So now, admittedly, this doesn't look great yet, but first time around, it never really does. Uh, we just have to keep coming back, and the more that you do it, the more the grass can actually compete with the weeds. And once the grass wins out, uh, then, then it gets a lot better. So round one, we'll be back here three more times throughout the summer, and uh, it'll, be, it'll be looking a lot better than it does right now. All right, we got three down, three to go today. This is our next yard. This one is uh, getting pretty high, not quite waist high yet, but uh, this will probably end up being our model yard for the year as far as what we do. Uh, this one will look so much better than it does right now. You got the backyard here too. No one taking care of it. This is actually a nice little house, I think. I mean, I don't know what the inside looks like, but you can see it's a jungle back here. So we'll get all this cleared out today and make it look beautiful again. Well guys, round one is done on this yard. I think it looks really sharp. This is actually, uh, if someone's looking for a house, man, there's there's potential here, especially with the yard. They have raised beds all over the place. Uh, four different raised beds, lots of beautiful maple trees. Um, just a really nice, nice little yard. But this is what transformation looks like, you guys. This is why we do this. Uh, this yard is no longer will be a, an eyesore to live next to. Uh, Whoever, whatever was living in here, you know, we've heard reports of rats and snakes and all that kind of stuff living in places like this. And so, uh, you know, we don't want that. We don't want that in our city. And uh, the neighbors certainly don't want that. And so we'll just continue to uh, do what we do. And uh, look at this beautiful little yard. All right, let's do another one. Okay, we got one that's like literally not in our backyard, but in our front yard here from the church. Uh, this one got a lot of a lot of tall grass in here, and it's a fairly big yard. A lot to do here, but, and it's really, really tall. But, shouldn't be any problem for us. Uh, give us 20 minutes, and this will look a whole lot different. Look at these guys. Brandon and Brian, MVPs. Got Judy with us today. Had Tina here working earlier. For your help today, Judy. You're welcome. You're one of the survivors all the way to the end, huh? Mm -hmm. Small crew today, but we still got a lot done. Six yards. That's enough. I did two last night. You did two last night. Mm -hmm. She was ahead of us. Thanks for your help, guys. You worked really hard. Not so much for you. Not so much. Maybe next time. So, admittedly, we have a lot more to do in this yard. Uh, we'll do uh, we'll do a lot more in the coming weeks, but uh, yeah, got the front yard at least knocked down. There's actually a lot of nice landscaping in here. It just needs to be brought under control. We're gonna have to come back. There's too much garbage in here to really do a lot with this. But we did get the backyard knocked down. Got a lot of uh, a lot of grass piled up. There's a lot of debris in here, so we're gonna have to come back with a with a truck or talk to the city about maybe them uh, 
them picking up some of the garbage for us again on this one like we did last year. But overall, it uh, looks a heck of a lot better. I killed a mouse in here, so who knows how many mice were living in here. But that's why we're doing this. Got the uh, all-star here, Mr. Brandon. How are you today? Great. Thank you for coming. Not a problem, brother. Survivor all the way to the end. Love you, my friend. Love you too, kiddo. It was a tough one today, but we need some more help. <laughs> need more help next time. Come on out, people. If we have 20, if we have 20 uh, men and women, this goes real, real fast. Uh, we found that out last year. We did 10 yards in an hour and a half last year. Yes, sir. So we can do that again. You know, first time's the hardest. So we did all the hard work for you. Now you can come and clean up after us. This means you, Jim Cogley. <laughs> So a lot of times people ask me, don't you don't you get discouraged, you know, when you don't have enough helpers or when you just have more and more yards every year and different properties and it never seems to end? And uh, you know what? I don't get discouraged at all because I know I know that we have a church full of faithful people. I know that people want to volunteer. I know that Saturdays are a tough time uh, because you know you got a lot of other stuff to do. Uh, and so that's okay if not everyone can make it every week. I totally understand that. And I don't get discouraged about the yards either because, you know, there's always going to be new properties that are that are blighted. But we can go back from the four years that we've been doing this, and I can point to ten different yards in our community that are uh, completely transformed. Uh, that they're now under new ownership, that the new owners are taking care of them, and that they're way, way better than they were when we started. And so, uh, you know, when you see transformation happening, it's a great encouragement. It's not discouraging at all because I know that this place you know it's not gonna look like this forever we're gonna take care of it now someone's either gonna buy it or someone's gonna tear it down and it'll be a nice lot in the city it'll be a great place for someone to live or to, for someone to uh, for someone to play and so don't be discouraged be encouraged my friends be greatly encouraged because God is on the move God is changing our little city he's calling people and uh, yeah he is good God is good <laughs> Just like that, week one is done. It's in the books. What a great way to spend a Saturday morning. Bless you guys.